Addo value. I am 100% sure this is going to be a highly valuable experience for me and my vocal pursuits and just my overall fascination with Addo's approach. This marks the very first video I will have done of hers where I am turning on the subtitles. <laughs> I have said in the past that I, I really appreciated not knowing exactly what's being said so I can just dig into the emotion of the voice, but I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach on this one. Ooh, okay, I want to go back and talk about her, her vocal posture here. Her approach is, again, different than I have heard her do before. I'm sure she's done it before, but it's really standing out to me here. Listen to the way she comes in here, and she, she kind of takes this same character throughout that whole first section. wonderful use of rasp. Lots of people think that breathiness or rasp has to be a function of dumping air, like, oh, and then they wonder why they can't hold a note out for more than a few, not even a second sometimes. What she's doing here is she's using compression to get rasp. Oh, solid chord closure. Oh, 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 and then compressing over it. So, constricting the area above her vocal folds and adding good chord closure from the primary chords to it. Oh, oh, oh. This is how it's a, it's a bit more of an aggressive rasp, although she's doing a really good job of moderating it so it doesn't sound too aggressive. But that's how she's able to hold out those notes at the same time. If you'd like to learn to work with your voice in playful and freeing ways without the fear of judgment, click the link below and join my free voice course. I will help you learn how to use your voice and have a relationship with your voice that helps you pull sounds and expressions out you never knew were there. Click that link below, either in the pinned comment or the video description. Oh, all the ways that she goes in and out of notes by sighing. Now, I want to talk about these words here just a second, because it just... Uh. Keep pretending to swim in this sea of superiority, and how unfulfilling it is to pretend you're superior to others. Oh. Right? I think in making myself appear better than others, I will feel better than others, but it actually makes me feel lower, because it's fake. Talk about imposter syndrome, right? We do it to ourselves. I love the octave up arrangement decision there. Listen to how she shapes those phrases there. And she throws the resonance back. Very different postures and neat transitions in how she walks up in pitch and changes her intensity and placement. There's no more rasp on that note. 
Nice rasping in there. She's going back and forth from that darker posture to the brighter posture. That is so cool. When I do it out of context, and I think when anybody does it out of context, it sounds ridiculous, but it's exactly what makes her voice so compelling is that she's not afraid of being ridiculous. It's bravery and humility that she demonstrates when she's going in and out of these different vocal postures because in and of themselves they are strange and if we're afraid of being strange because we want to be superior because we don't want people to see that we are weak then we will never have the freedom of self-expression that Addo has as she sings. It's so cool tying it in with the lyrics. If we try to be superior, we miss out on, on genuine vulnerable connection, which then allows us to learn things to be truly self-expressive and then good. <laughs> It's like she's having a conversation with herself. There's this call and answer happening with her tonality and her melodic phrasing. <laughs> Try that with your own voice. Long, 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 wide, wide, wide. Long, 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 wide, wide, wide. Listen to how she goes in and out of her head voice there. voice value really leans into the resonance in her chest voice but doesn't shy away from creating an experience in her head voice as well uh, the size like i usually point out those little squeaks at the beginnings and ends of notes keeps her free and playful and not locked into any one vocal posture There's this huge sense of perpetual motion there that the way that she's pulling back the rhythm as she hits those downbeats, she gets more on top of the beat with her voice. So there's this push and pull that she's creating with her voice and the track. Singing is so much more than just hitting notes. And this right here, this segment is an example of how rhythm and playing with the pocketing of and placement of those notes within the beat can help you feel a certain way. <laughs> So 
so percussive and how she brings out those consonants there. This song has a, a bit more subtlety to it in her approach. But sometimes it's the subtle ones that are the most, wait for it, valuable. <laughs> because they're the things we don't overtly hear, but they're the things that we sense that really connects us to what's being said. All those little uh, calls and answers back there in background vocals. She's resolute. I can't get over that transition. It's so cool. This might be the grooviest Ado song I've reviewed. It is so groovy. Such a wonderful rhythmic relationship between her voice and the instrument. I like the, the, the playfulness with her voice there. Listen to that again. I'm not even trying to sound like her. I'm just... I'm getting that in my own voice to appreciate that that movement. So cool. The, the fact that she lightens up in the middle of that run makes it easier for her to, to punch that last note right on the beat. And again, she, she has this sense that she's backing off the tempo and, and in dynamics there as well, and then hitting right on the beat. That's why it's so incredibly rhythmic. She said value. 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 Oh, weepiness at the end of the power. Wow. Cool. The whole thing was made on an iPad. That's impressive. Every single song that I've reviewed from this artist blows me away in a different way. This one was the incredible connection I had to the rhythm of the song. And I really enjoyed being able to internalize the meaning of, at least the meaning for me, of the song by having the lyrics on, <laughs> in my language. The resolution and the perpetual forward motion that the music communicated while her voice and the track were coming alongside her goals for herself. Having victory over the struggle in the midst of the struggle. Keep moving forward, not being satisfied with where you are. And I'm sure there's contexts and connotations that I'm not understanding, but that's really what it meant to me, and that's what I got out of it, which is what I love about music. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos I've done on Addo. I'm always adding more to the playlist as well. And again, if you'd like more help discovering what your voice can really do, start by clicking that link below in the pinned comment or the video description and join my free course. We'll see you for more.